the best way to increase your click-through rate and your conversion rate on Etsy for your handmade digital or print-on-demand products is to use the very best images that you can. If you are taking photographs of your items or if you are creating listing images or mock-up images, you have to have certain criteria in mind when you are creating these so that they will convert to their full potential. In this video, we are going to talk about what are the correct image sizes for your physical or digital products on Etsy. I will show you how to create these in Canva and I will also give you a quick shortcut that you can implement so that you can save time on creating your own listing images. If you are interested in what are the elements that should be on your listing images, especially for digital products, I have this video. You can check it out. I show you there the mistakes that I made when I started my own digital products business. Uh, and I think that I even show you the very first listing images that I created and how bad they were and compare that to a newer listing image that converts really well for me at this point. So if you are interested in those details, uh, the link will be in the description down below. I highly recommend you watch that video also so that you will know what are the crucial elements that should be on your listing images for your digital products. Not necessarily only digital, but it is very important you have these details on those. Now let's take a look at the official Etsy website. What size are they recommending for your Etsy listing images? And also let's take a quick look at the other image sizes that they recommend as well for your shop icon and for the banner. Because those are a really important element in your Etsy shop when it comes to making your shop looking very nice, cohesive and just well put together. Okay, according to the official Etsy website, your listing images should be at least 2000 pixels wide and have a resolution of at least 72 dpi and it shouldn't be larger than one megabyte. So starting with these details, the size that I prefer to use is 2000 pixels, that is the minimum for the width. So I use 2000 pixels by 1500 pixels on, for the height. These are the standard sizes that work really well for my items and I find that this size works really well. Of course, we have to keep in mind mobile users too because when you take a look at a Etsy shop on a phone, the images look kind of different because they are squares, not rectangles. I will quickly open my Etsy shop on my phone and I will put the screen right here so you can see the difference compared to a computer. Okay, as you can see it here, the files look a little bit more cut off because I made these quite a while ago and if I would re-optimize them now then I would make sure that every important information is fit within a square in the main in the center of the main listing image. So this way you can make sure that your listing images will perform really well both on a tablet or a computer and also on a mobile phone. This is a really important step because the majority of the traffic on Etsy comes from the app and people browsing on the app will click on images that are also optimized for their user preferences and for their viewing preferences. So in other words, they look really nice in a square format as well, not just in a rectangle. Because 2000 pixels by 1500 pixels is a rectangle and on the app you can definitely see that those are squares. So just make sure that you test your listing images on a mobile device as well. So you publish your items on Etsy from a computer, that's what I do because the experience and the process is so much more easier than within the app. Then open the Etsy buyers app, so not the one that you can see your sales in, but the one that people use for shopping. And then go and check your shop and see if all of the images look really nice, they look really cohesive and there are no parts that are cut off. Especially important parts like titles or details from your products. Okay, the next item on this list is your shop icon and this one should be 500 by 500 pixels. This is very straightforward. For the icon, I prefer to use the shop's logo or what you can also do is to use an image of yourself. Then you can create profiles within your Etsy shop for your Etsy shop members. In my case, I am alone, but if you have a helper or if someone helping is helping you designing products and you are just a store owner, you can create profiles for each and every of these people. And I even saw people creating profiles for their dogs as their emotional support partner. And this image should be also 500 by 500 pixels. When it comes to the shop banners, you have multiple options. There is the standard banner and if you have Etsy Pro or the Pro subscription, you have three options to choose from banners. You can have the standard one, you can have a mini one, 
and the carousel one. For the mini shop banner, the size should be at least 1200 by 160 pixels, but the recommended size is 1600 by 213 pixels. For the big shop banner or for the carousel banner, the, ID, the minimum size is 1200 by 300 pixels. If you ever want to refer back to this information, you just can quickly type into Google Etsy listing image sizes and you can find this article there. It is the first one that Google spits out. And another important information, you should use RGB color mode. If you're using Canva, this is not very important, but... But if you're using Photoshop, Illustrator, InDesign, any other program, you should use RGB when you are setting up your color profile or when you are exporting your images. And now I would like to give you a sneak peek of what I have been working on. I'm really excited about these. I already hinted in one of my videos, I think, that I'm creating something similar but not but my original plan was different. Okay, I have been creating custom Canva frames for all kinds of digital product displays. And here I'm talking, ring bound planners, notebooks, magazines, tablets, phones. Canva has some options, but when it comes to mobile devices, I think they have two or three options, but they do not look very realistic. So I created some very realistic iPhone mockups and iPad mockups. And just let me show you them. Three of these are already in my Etsy shop, so you can check those out. The links are in the description. And the other ones are coming as well very shortly. I will show you two sneak peeks and three products that are already in my Etsy shop. So this is a sneak peek. These should be live next week or the week after that. I still want to make some prearranged listing images as well. As you can see, these are some really realistic looking notebooks. So if you would like to apply your designs to these, then it will make your job so much easier. I'm really excited about this one. This is an agenda and you can even apply texture to the cover and you can add your designs and you can also edit the color of the tabs. So really excited about these, but for the ones that are already in the shop, these are some magazine mockups. These are really good for ebooks, workbooks, Airbnb welcome packs, and things like that. There are eight in this pack, pre made, and you can just drag and drop from Canva. These are the iPad ones. Here we have 15 pre made listing images. And some iPhone ones. These look really realistic. As you can see, what you can achieve with these. And when it comes to sizing, of course, because these are listing images of listing images, if you would like to say it like that, because that's what they are, then you can see the size here that I like to use, 2000 by 1500. That is the default size. If you quickly would like to just resize your files in Canva, then you will need the Canva Pro subscription. When I signed up to Canva Pro two or three years ago, you could only resize images within Canva only if you had the Pro account. Of course, there is an option to have multiple sizes in the free version of Canva as well, but it will take more work and more time. What you can do is to create from scratch different size the files and you can just go and copy paste from each and every document and resize and readjust accordingly so that it will look good at the end within each size. So that's what you can do with the Canva free account. But there is another image size that you should be thinking about and this image would be the one that you would pin to Pinterest. Now, you can upload different sized listing images onto Etsy, but I would make sure at least one of those 10 images is sized for Pinterest. You have two options for Pinterest pins. It doesn't matter which one you choose, but it should be a vertical image. That is very important. You can choose 1000 by 1500 pixels or you can choose 180 by 1920 pixels. You can choose whichever you prefer. Canva also has some pre-made templates that you can personalize, but you can also create these from scratch. These images will help you drive traffic from Pinterest. You should have definitely a Pinterest account. And it gives you the option to display your products in a long format as well, not just in a landscape format. So sizing your Etsy listing images just got easier because you now know the correct dimensions that you should be using. And now you also know that you have to pay lots of lots of attention to the mobile users as well. Keep in mind that a big part of the traffic will always come from mobile devices from now on because 
people will use their phones more than their computers going forward. Thank you very much for watching today's video and I really hope that you found the information that you were looking for. If you would like to speed up your listing image creation process for your digital products, you can find the links to these pre-made digital product mock-ups in the description box. I constantly have new ones coming out. I have 10 or 12 in the works, so keep an eye out for those. And hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online, selling digital products on Etsy and all things related to that. Also, you can follow me on Instagram as well and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!